So the title of this video um, is Deep. Um, the only reason why I use that title is because Father put it on my heart to use that title. However, um, whether it is same sex relations or fornication, sex outside of covenant marriage or adultery, cheating on that covenant marriage, all of these are sin against our flesh and not one is worse than the other. It's all sin against our flesh and it all does the same thing to ourselves, which I'll explain later in this video. I just want to say that this message I'm sharing is with complete love and compassion because I was once deceived. Um, I had a child out of wedlock. Uh, I lived a life of fornication. I paid the consequences of that, which I'm going to share. And um, I feel like this message is so important to Father and his heart is so heavy because there's a lot of judgment and there's no judgment here. Um, we're all victims of circumstances, of trauma. Um, trauma is an open door for the enemy to come in and to distort and hold captive and uh, happens to all of us. Um, there's a lot of shaming that happens and that's not what father wants. He doesn't want someone to be shamed. Um, conviction is the ultimate goal, uh, not condemnation. Um, he really loves everybody and he wants everybody to come to salvation and to truth and to be healed and to be whole. So, um, this message is not just for same people with the same sex um, relationships. This is actually for anybody who's fornicating outside of marriage because they're all equal. So like I said, I had lived that life also. So I was a sinner just the same. I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm no different than someone that was having same sex relations. I was having sex outside of covenant marriage. And this is sin against our own flesh. And uh, you could probably say I was worse than someone that was in same sex relations because I ended up into the occult and that's spiritual adultery. So that's adultery against my heavenly father. So uh, this is not uh, condemnation or anything because I'd say I, I probably did it worse. And uh, he so graciously <laughs> saved me and showed me the truth and um, actually became celibate um, November 2019 and but I made a vow I was gonna fit one year to celibacy because <laughs> I felt something nudging me to be celibate but I was still deceived so I was like okay hey, I'm gonna commit one year <laughs> so in February 2020 when father first spoke to me which is when I got saved um, the very second sentence he said to me was to commit my life to celibacy um, so yeah, um, I want to share what this does, the sin against the flesh. So any fornication outside of marriage is sin against our own flesh. So I was very fragmented. This is what happens to us. Our soul becomes fragmented because two become one flesh. So my, I, my soul was scattered everywhere. And the enemy does this with trauma. Trauma also fragments our soul. So not just sex, but sex does because a piece of you leaves with that person. And it, it I don't know how to explain it. It like diminishes the wholeness of ourself. It's like we're not all here and whole moving forward as one. 
we have these fragmented parts that are trapped in other places and uh with trauma that that's also like there's it could be a little five-year-old wounded girl back here or whatever and then someone someone will trigger that and then instead of me my saved person wanting to be humble and whole that part because it's fragmented and it hasn't come to Yahusha to Jesus yet that part will then pop up and I'll respond or, or react actually react from that five-year-old girl of myself so I'll react with fear or with anger or rage or whatever it is right or, or could and there's so many fragments so it's little five-year-olds six-year-olds ten-year-olds eleven-year-olds and then twenty-some-year-olds like different all through my life parts were fragmented so uh I didn't understand this one day father told me to integrate myself and um I kind of lived a double life and I was I had it was like well you want me to integrate that girl with me and I was terrified I was like I you want me to do that like that girl was did all the bad things <laughs> you want me to integrate her back into me like I, was, I didn't understand but he led me to a place where I met someone and we had this conversation and she I wish I had the book here um I should have brought it here but uh I'll post it below in the comments um this lady I got led to her Louise Frank and uh, she has this book called Hope for the Broken Soul and she helps people that are fragmented father taught her this through her own life and uh, that's how I found this out so when I started working with her not only you know the trauma and the sexual sin but like I said I was in the occult so I actually had these demonic spirits holding parts of myself captive um, I don't know how far how deep to go into this um but i'll guess i'll explain so in one instance we were praying i had repented for things and we we're praying and i saw these cabins and then she, she kept asking me like do i see jesus yahusha coming do i see him and i was like no i just see these cabins that's all i see and then we kept praying further and i saw darkness and then she's like who's the darkness there and uh, it was revealed itself as a dark angel. And she said, she's repented, you gotta go. And it wouldn't go. So she said, what legal right do you have? And it said servitude. And she's like, did you serve angels? Yeah, when I was in Thailand, I did a cacao ceremony. I was, I was doing stuff with angels, definitely. So I had to repent of that, of what I did. And when I repented of that servitude, the angel no more had legal right so it had to go and then I saw all those cabins start on fire and I just saw like I don't know hundreds hundreds of fragments of myself running out of these cabins and then I saw witches on stakes burning and then I saw this missile that went to the mountain in Colombia and said false scion it was actually a demonic angel that led me to Columbia, but I don't want to go into that in this video, but that's just an example of how an entity can hold fragments of ourself captive. So um, when we're having these relations to become one flesh, so every time a, a part of ourselves leaves and we're not whole, we're not one. And trauma is like a, key way where the enemy will come in with um allow these incubus and succubus spirits to enter inside of you and let's say i'm a female and i have an incubus spirit and uh so that um sorry no let's say a succubus spirit let's say i have the male spirit inside of me how do i describe this sorry Like I would have the spirit inside of me that wants the same sex relationship that I am. So the spirit inside of me desires women and I'm a woman, but it's the spirit inside of me that's desiring the women, that's putting the thoughts in my mind 
to desire women. And it's not my thoughts. It's not my desires. It's the spirit's desires. And if we're not aware of that, we can believe that it's our own self and our, our own doing and what we want. And same with men. They can have a spirit inside of them that desires men. So um, trauma is a good way for that to, en to enter. Although generationally, so like if a, a, your family member is in the occult, that could open the door to jump into you, even in the womb, right? Because some people feel like they were born like that but that's because of a sin of the parent that opened the door for that to come in. So that's the second part. The first part I wanted to talk about was how we get fragmented. And the second part I wanted to talk about was like the spiritual aspect of this, the supernatural aspect of this. We're um, fighting against not flesh and blood, but spiritual forces of darkness. So these spirits come in and start to lead you into this if that makes sense and that's what people need to be set free of and that's what father wants people to be set free of and uh there's just a lot of hatred and a lot of um not a lot of compassion and, and people don't understand these two spiritual things that are happening fragmented soul and and demonic spirits so they don't know how to deal or help someone that's in that circumstance or to come with love and compassion. So it's like the enemy's here deceiving this person into whatever it is, adultery, fornication, same-sex relationships. And then over here, you have an enemy that is condemning you. So it's like the enemy's on both sides of the fence just trapping you in. It's kind of what's happening. So... This, the purpose of this video is just to bring revelation of that and to know that you can be set free from this if you choose to. Uh, we all have free will. Some people are ready, some people aren't ready. And uh, it's not for me to judge where you're at. I just ask that you have gentleness and compassion and not leave any harsh comments on this video because I'm not um, judging. My desire is Father's desire, which is for you to be set free if you so choose to be. So I would like to lift you up in prayer if you want to stay and have prayer. Um, I'm just going to do that right now. Heavenly Father, I just lift up your beautiful, wonderful children to you. Father, you know that we've been wounded, we've been fragmented, we've been damaged in so many ways, we've been deceived, we've been programmed and brainwashed and all these things, Heavenly Father, and we have a lot of hurt and uh, distortion in our lives. And Heavenly Father, I know you're a father of miracles and power, and I just ask you to do a one-touch healing for the people watching this video, that you would restore their souls, draw every fragment back to them, reveal to them if there's somewhere that they need to repent, something specific, if they need to come out of agreement with a spirit or whatever that may be. I ask, Father, that you put it on their heart so they can break those legal rights. And I just ask you to do that right now. If you feel him putting anything in our heart, just say, Father, please forgive me for this. I come out of agreement with this. Whatever comes to your heart, just do that right now. And then receive his healing and just say, yes, Father, I want all my pieces to come back to me. I want my soul to be whole and one. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for that. And then, Father, we ask for deliverance. We ask for a divine restraining order against these evil spirits that are manipulating, controlling us. Heavenly Father, we just ask that you sever all demonic soul ties with these spirits. We ask that you bind them up and cast them aside in Jesus Yahushua's mighty name. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this marvelous work that you're doing in people's lives right now. I just thank you for the healing that you're doing. I thank you for the deliverance you're doing. I thank you that truth makes us free. Heavenly Father, I just give you all the praise and all the glory. And I just pray that your children feel the love that you have for them. So much love and so much compassion that you want them to be free. You want them to be healed and you want them to be whole. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you for doing that. I thank you for making your children healed and whole. And I just give you all the praise and all the glory for doing so. Hallelujah. We ask this in Yahushua, Jesus' mighty name. 
thank you for listening to this video. I just pray if you're going to share this with someone that their heart is prepared to hear it and um, that it comes with much love and grace and gentleness um, as possible. And um, to be continued, uh, we will see each other again. I just pray mighty blessings over you. I just declare destiny over your life, that you fulfill every single plan and purpose Father has for you. I just uh, declare that into the heavens, that you will fulfill all that is written in your book of life. Have a wonderful day.